You can now correct student answer papers online with the new digital evaluation offered by Learnist. In the next few minutes, let us explore the entire process of correcting your student answer scripts online as an evaluator. First, let's go ahead and see how to create an evaluator role. To do that, first go to your admin dashboard and click on the users and select the sub-admins. Click on the add a sub-admin button. Here, you can enter the name, email, password and phone number of the evaluator. Once done, click on save and next. Scroll down to the bottom and select the evaluator checkbox. Please note that evaluators will have the permission only to correct the student answer sheets. After selecting the evaluator role, click on save and next. Now click on the add a product and select the quiz assigned for digital evaluation. And once again, don't forget to click on save and next. Lastly, click on finish. Now, how can we assign the student answer scripts to them? To do that, let's go ahead to your admin dashboard and click on manage. Here is where you will find the option called answer reviews. Click on answer reviews. Now, click through the product name, quiz name and the learner name. Let us click on the assign for evaluation button on the top right corner and select the evaluator. Here, you will see a list of evaluators. Let us go ahead and pick the evaluator that you had created just now. Assign that learner to the evaluator and click on save and next. Click on the save and publish button to assign the evaluator. Now, we have successfully assigned the student answer script to the evaluator. As you can see, the status on the learner side will now show as in progress. As an admin, you can assign more answer papers to your evaluator and they can follow the above steps to correct the papers accordingly. Now, let us see how evaluators can correct the answer scripts online. For that, let us log in as an evaluator. So after logging into the system, let us click on the answer review tab on our left side. Click through to the product name, quiz name and learner name. And this should take us to the evaluate answer sheet button. Click on it. This opens up the evaluation panel. As you can see, the student answer sheet will be visible on the left hand side and the questions will be visible on the right hand side. Let us go ahead and click on the question. This will expand the evaluation criteria for each question. This will guide you on how to assign marks for your students. We can also download the answer key from the download reference sheet just on top of the questions bar. Now let's start with the answer evaluation process. First, let us click on the annotate option. You will find a lot of options within the annotations. For example, to put a tick on the right answer and a cross on the wrong answer, click on the freehand option. Let's select the color palette and choose an appropriate color. Let us choose the stroke value to 5 points and above to create a very thick line. Now simply use the freehand tool to put a tick on the paper. To undo any changes, click on the undo option on the top or click on Ctrl Z on your keyboard. We also have this cool eraser option to erase out any mistakes. Next, to highlight any mistakes your student has done, use the freehand option to draw a circle around the mistake or put a cross symbol just like this one. To add any text on the student answer sheet, select the free text option. Choose an appropriate color and text size. Choose a text size more than 15 so that it has good visibility to your students. The free text also has an option to bold the text for better readability. Other than the text, we can add notes. Click on the note symbol, click on the section where you want to put the notes and simply add the comments on the right side. We also have a rectangle shape within the annotations. Use it to highlight the correct points written by your students. For example, I have highlighted the two correct points written by my student using a rectangle box. Next, let us go to the shapes option. You can use options like lines to highlight any spelling mistakes. Same way, you can use shapes like arrows or circles to highlight the points appropriately. One key point that can help you annotate is the callout button within the insert option. First, click on the callout button and then click on a particular word 
or section you want to highlight. Drag your mouse and double click your left mouse button. This will activate the column button and help you write specific notes like this one. The insert option also has a lot of features like insert signatures or add attachments within your evaluation report. After completing the annotation process for a question, let us see how to add the marks. Click on evaluate on the right hand side of the question. Give the marks to your student based on the evaluation criteria. To do that, scroll down to the bottom and enter the marks for this particular question. You can also enter any additional remarks in the remarks column. Likewise, you can enter the marks for each question. The system will automatically calculate the final marks. Once all your questions has been reviewed, click on the publish to save and publish all the annotations. Here you will have an option to describe the learner's overall test or exam performance. Once you have added the feedback, click on the publish evaluation to make the evaluation go live. Congratulations! You have now completed the digital evaluation. The status of your student answer script will now show as completed. Now that we have completed the digital evaluation process, let us see how students will view the annotated answer sheets. For this, let us log into the academy as a student. Let us click on the course and click on the view result option. Once a student clicks on the view evaluated answer sheet, they can view the annotations and the corrections made by the evaluator. In case if a student is not satisfied with the evaluation, they can even apply for a re-evaluation by clicking on the re-evaluation option. So this sums up how to evaluate the student answer sheets online. You can try out this feature by simply signing up to Learnist. I really hope you find this feature super useful. Let us know in the comment section what your biggest challenge is with evaluating your student answer sheets and we will be happy to help you with a solution. And if you like this video, don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel. Do ring the bell icon to get instant notifications on course creation and marketing tips. Thank you and have a wonderful day.